Hello my croutons, and welcome to another First Impressions video. Today, we're going to be playing Sorbetta, Gravely in Default, made by Hawk Zombie, which is a name you might have heard of before. He's a, uh, YouTuber extraordinaire in the RPG Maker community, and I'm excited to be playing his game. He gave me a co this is a, uh, before release copy, I'm recording this prior to the game's, um, official release, however, it will be on Steam when this video goes up. So I highly suggest checking that out. Um, I will leave a link to that in the description. Let's get started. First of all, beautiful art. It's fantastic. Beautiful. Good start. Let's look at the window skins. Grapes of Wrath. Noir. Word that I can't pronounce. Brass Monkey. Lemon Bar. Mutagenic. Raimi. I love these names. Prismatic Justice. All right. Um... Well, we're gonna go with the Grapes of Wrath. I think that that really, um, really fits with the with this game, with the with the purple so far in the title screen. Let us begin, Sorbetta, gravely in default, and debt, gravely in default, debt. I'm not good at talking. Once upon a time, in the land of Marquetta, there was a small town of Shopping. Within this town lived a curiously odd woman by the name of Sorbetta. She had always dreamed of running her own business, and opened up a modest shop. However, a severe gambling addiction and some questionable loans have put a halt to her dreams for the moment. It's been several weeks since she decided to turn her life around and try to get it back on track. Will she succeed, or will the demons from her past haunt her still? My money's on the demons. Well, she definitely looks like a demon. She looks like an epic gamer, actually, honestly. If I ever have to attend another Gambler's Anonymous meeting like that, I'm going to take a long walk off a short pier. Granted, I'm the only person who attends, but yeesh. Hey, I've been looking for you. Shit. There's no way she's already here. I like the music and the framing of the scenes. Ooh, that's awesome. Sherbetta? Okay, I like this. Sherbetta, my darling idiotic cousin. How are you? Dealing with your gambling problem? Oh, wait. I don't care. Bitch, where's my money? Don't even try pulling that crap with me. You gave me a month to pay you back. It's only been three weeks. And what about the family discount? This is the discount. I usually show up after two weeks. Anyway, by my count, and including the interest that accrued since I gave you the initial 10,000, carry the 7, added my special fee, you owe me 100,000 gold. 100,000? That's insanity. I don't care if you are my cousin, I'm not paying that. I'll give you the original ten. Not a single gold more. <laughs> it's adorable that you think you have a choice. Pay up or I start breaking limbs, toots. Screw you. I was hoping you'd say that. Ow! You actually hit me! I was trying to break your arm, you big baby. Break my arm! You maniac! I said I was going to pay you. I knew you weren't a complete idiot. So, where's my money? Uh, but I don't have that much. I only have the original ten. Okay, maybe you are an idiot. Time to get back to breaking that arm. Wait! What if I told you I can get you something better than the money? Okay, I'm listening. You aren't from around here, but there's a rumor of some special treasures worth a fortune nearby. I'll get them for you if you promise not to break my arm. One treasure per limb? So four? I'll expect four treasures and all the gold you owe me when I see you next. Uh, wait, I didn't mean the hundred thousand as well. Yep, good deal. 100,000 gold and fabulous treasures. See you soon, cousin. What did we buy from her? Why is she doing this? I don't like the cousin. Bitch. What was that? Uh, I said I had an itch. Yep, just an itch. That's what I thought. Well, today just got a shit ton worse. I better head to my shop. Might be time to actually think about trying to reopen it. Shopping. Ah, like shopping? Ah, see? Smart moves. I love the writing already, right off the bat. It's quirky, interesting, fun to, fun to read, fun to, fun to experience. The scenes are well laid out and fun. It, it's just, it's it's a fun, comedic, happy experience right now. I'm actually turning the noise up just a bit. Because it, it's 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 fitting. It's it's beautiful. I, I love it. This is this is glorious so far. Um, it reminds me, I, I didn't watch, I wasn't like super tuned into the keep shopkeeping drama, but I feel like the, at least the having a store of your own and and doing shit like that uh, was an inspiration. Although I'm not entirely sure what keep shopping keeping entailed, other than it was made by a jackass. 
damn, it's locked, but maybe I'll figure out a way to get in there later. I've got a good feeling about this rusty piece of crap shack. Who knows, maybe the answer's right in front of my face. Just swimming across my vision. Oh, it's a duck. Alright, we gotta go to the duck. Alright, so you're telling me, swimming across my vision, that we want the duck. The duck looks at you quizzically, and its beak is something odd. The duck gave you a rusty key. I knew it. I mean, you, you told it to me. Very obvious. Uh, but also, I'm just an idiot, so, you know. Due to increasingly aggressive behavior and thievery of the key to the shack, feeding of the ducks is prohibited until further notice. Okay, awesome. Yes, you see, you see, Hawk, you write words, and I, and we appear to be on the same level here. You, you write, you're writing a dumb comp comedic storyline, and I am a dumb comedic person. So, you know, it fits hand in hand. It's perfect. It's wonderful. You've hit your core audience. <laughs> I've got a really bad feeling about this. If I go in here now, I don't think I'll come out ahead. Maybe I should come back when I'm a bit stronger. Are you sure you want to proceed? Winning is not required. Once inside, if you do not defeat the foe within, you will lose out on special items. Well, guess I'll wait then. All right, let's check out the menu. I, I don't know what I was expecting when I saw the RTP graphics. I, I should not have expected this much. I'm amazed I even got a stretch resolution. Like that's impressive stuff. Hawk, you've got a lot going for you. You've got, you got a stretch. Re you got, you got a full uh, 1920, 1080 resolution. It's glorious, beautiful. The Blue Studio. Eh. Eh. I don't, I don't know. Are you selling this game for money? I didn't check. But this is beautiful. So far, this is glorious. And you should make $7 million from this. He's way too interested in his tea. Yeah, so it's just Driftwood Gaming? Is that Drifty? This is beautiful. I just love a good, delicious hunk of meat, don't you? I feel like you're parodying people somehow. And I actually, I really like this way of doing it, Hawk. Like, um, there was a game I played a while back uh, by Baku. Um, the tavern something the tavern lunatic tavern brawl or whatever i'm not entirely i'm not entirely sure i don't remember um but uh what they did in that game was uh back baku uh she just slapped a bunch of people from the from the rpg maker community and gave them lines that i'm sure they requested to be said um, but in this case hawk you are writing interesting nuanced ways of referencing back to these people um even if you don't you didn't originally intend that maybe you did um but but you're, you're referencing people in a nuance or, or or subtle way so it's interesting to read and the average person who isn't super into the rpg maker community um wouldn't even understand it so it's funny for people who are and i, I really like that it's really it's really good it apply it, it it appeals to a large audience of people and it appeals to the rpg maker community which realistically the rpg maker community is going to be all of the people buying your game um you, you're probably not going to reach much further than that so I think you've done a really good job of understanding your audience here and knowing what they want. Hello there, did you know it's my birthday? I did not, nor do I care. You don't have to, I'll just help myself to a gift. Gave the birthday boy a thousand gold. Uh, hey, my money! Thank you, it's just what I always wanted. Screw that, I'm done giving him birthday presents. No, I want to give him all of my money. I feel like this is like a, uh, like an RPG Maker scammer, um... There's a few I think I think of immediately or off the top of my head, but you know, it's all wax. Hey there, good look. Oh, it's you, Sorbetta. Order something and get out, okay? You're bad for business. Look, unless you're going to buy a drink or learn how to make them, we've got nothing else to say to each other. Alright, interesting backstory. I like it. Fancy a room, Govna. Miss Rumplebum. You know I already rent a room here, and since when the hell do you have an accent? Oi, since I twi- I was I was told it'd get me customers I've. Now it'll be 30 G a night, you wee cheeky cunt. Huh, that's actually cheaper than what I've been paying. Uh, no. Nope, you don't get my money. I need all this money. I am already very in debt, and I will never be out of debt. It's like going to law school. You're like, you go to law school, and you're, you're like, oh yeah, I'm gonna go out into the big wide world and make a shit ton of money as a lawyer, and it's gonna do, I'm gonna do great, and have so much money. And then you are paying off debt until you're 40, and since you have three kids, you just chuck money away, and then you don't actually have any money, and then, you know, you're really, you know, really not in as great a spot as you uh, thought you were going to be. Um, you know, I don't even really know where I was going with this rant, but, you know, um, it's somehow related to this game, I think. I came dangerously close to losing this place. Thankfully, I wasn't stupid enough to put up a wager with the deed. Too bad I don't have employees or much merchandise. I mean, you got a pickaxe, you got a rope, you got a cat, you can sell the cat. Cats are worth, like... You know, ten dollars, right? Although, there is the basement. 
Why is the basement so big? Holy shit. If I can manage to get this place up and running, it might help me earn some extra income as well. Just need a bartender. Lord knows the only drink I know how to make is vodka. And by make, I mean drink. Heavily. Uh, we've got an alcoholic gamer. Epic uh, epic gamer girl. That's cool. All right. Um, yeah. Awesome sauce. I should take a look around. Maybe practice some music to clear my head. Oh, and a musician? Oh, the musician has eyes. Sup, nerd? Have you come to set me free from this horrid place? Holy sh... Wait. I keep forgetting you're a mimic. Well, maybe you'd remember if you actually came down here once in a while. Wait, it's been days since I've seen you last. What's going on? You might be, uh, I might sell your soul to the devil to earn five dollars. Uh, how would you like that? Don't make me threaten to eat you to get you to talk. It's Shrebetta. She came back early for her money and wants ten times as much plus some of those treasures she told me about. Your cousin? I swear she's so dramatic that she puts on plays in the park in spring. She's so over the top she arm wrestles old challengers. She's so... Okay, I get it. Alright, you're obviously cranky about the situation. So what are you going to do about it? All right, we're going to do accents, and we're going to actually voice act from now on, because this game is interesting, and I love it, and I need to get into the get into the zone here. Well, I've got to get that gold, first and foremost. But now, thanks to my big yap, she also wants four treasures. I mean, the money shouldn't be a big deal. I just need to run the shop. Maybe get this bar up and running, too. As for the treasure, I've got you to help me in the right directions. I've got you to point me in the right directions, but how the hell am I going to do it all at the same time? You're resourceful. Do you really need some help? How much extra time did she give you? Not nearly enough. Hmm. Hold on a second. I'm a necromancer. I can just raise a zombie to help out. Well, that's convenient. Slow down a tick. You remember what happened the last time you decided to raise the dead? Don't remind me. The town wasn't too keen on it. Something about how jarring it was having your dead husband serving you and your new husband drinks. Ah. Oh. Yes. Uh, happens to happen to me happens to me every day But if I raise those who have been dead so long no one would recognize them hot damn. I'm on to something Godspeed you magnificent bastard you Wait Why so friendly all of a sudden? No reason except that you sat on my stool. <laughs> I don't buy it. You want something Well since you brought it up. I'd like to be moved upstairs What why? Do you have to ask? I feel lonely and abandoned down here. At least upstairs is the off chance uh, the cat would run into my mouth. Hmm, when you put it that way, I'll make you a deal. You help me find all four treasures, I'll move you upstairs. So better that's music to my ears. Get it? Music! Ha 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 Sounds like instant regret to mine. Anyways. I'm going to go and see if I can find any job applicants. Think about that first treasure's location for me. Got it? I've got a good feeling about this. That makes one of us. Holy shit, Hawk. Uh, you're a fantastic writer. Wow. I've been playing this game for 10-ish minutes now. And I know exactly what you're going for. It's a comedy. And it's an over-the-top, silly, jokey, parody, comedy. It's funny. That's you've made that 100% clear. You're throwing in subtle references back to RPG Maker people. You're 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 making really good work of the RTP graphics. You've got good sound design. You've got fantastic scenes. Like they're written super well, and they all flow together. Um, the actions the characters are doing represent how they're feeling, how they're acting, how they're talking. It's parodying something. Everything's really a parody of something. At least so far it seems. Uh, the the jokes are really good. I'm just very dense and I don't laugh. Um, because I, I only laugh at pictures of a distorted image that say water. Because um, I'm the average American teenager. But this is fantastic. Uh, and it's really uh, impressive. Uh, something to look up to. If you're trying to make RPG Maker games. Just this level of writing is, is very impressive. What did this say? Before settling in on necromancy, I tried potion brewing with my own unique flair. Making them alcoholic didn't work as well as I'd hoped. God, I love this main character beautiful I don't have any reason to go in here that's what you say but when you really when you go into the creepy mansion with vines growing on it you realize suddenly that you're trapped there forever and are unable to leave until you defeat the Oni speaking of which by the time I think this by the time this goes up I think um, the last Oni video will be coming up soon 
which is exciting. I finally finished a game. I can't believe it. Uh, you want to beat that? Uh, yeah, let's beat the shit out of some slimy things. Are we the slime? Or is the slime us? Man, I need to sit down. Well, if I had an ass, I would need to. Um, is that not an ass? Looks kind of like an ass to me. This one looks demented. All right, this one's demented. What's up, demented one? Oh, no, he has just he just has a mustache. Okay, I thought his eyes were, like, fucked up. You, madame, doth verily have the pleasure of addressing none other than Sir Gelatinous Oozington Third, Lord of Gooshire and Duke of Slimy Port, Esquire of Her Majesty's Most Notable Notary, and Doctor of Dental Services. I'm also a pastry chef and a master mixologist. Wonderful. Wonderful. What? We just came out of the ground? Okay, cool, cool, cool. I buy it, I buy it. And any reason to go in here, says you. So better, what if we went in there and we just stole all their stuff and sold it on the black market? Like, it's free profit. Get the hell out of my house, Sorbetta! No one wanted to break your stupid pots anyway, Tim! Jerk, but there's nothing but chickens in them anyway. Alright, Tim. Uh, I like you. You're a cool guy. Marquetta. I love this game. I love this game so much. Very fitting music for a graveyard. Aaron Eternia died radiantly on a radiator. Ah, ah, that's a that's a game. That's an RPG Maker game. It's almost as if you can smell the wrath coming off this grave. There's a drink recipe attached to the gravestone for some inexplicable reason. For a further inexplicable reason, you are unable to remove it. Maybe later? Oh, thank you, Hawk. I do something like that similar in my game. I put a table, like, there's a table here, and you have to get by to continue the game. But then I just took it there, and I'm like, it's immovable. There's no way to explain it. It just is. That's just, you know, and then when you go do this shit, and then it's, you know, you can move it. That's just, you know, how it be. What's up? Swan hunts. Fell ill and died of disappointments. Disappointment. Were they really a swan? What's next? Undead eagles? Oh, hawk zombie? You self-aware bastard, I love you. This one looks like a promising candidate, but maybe not yet. What, are we gonna dig up someone's grave? Can we please dig up someone's grave? Truest cinder, beloved pet, accidentally made into a feast. Are these all just parody stones of people uh, people that already exist in the real world? This is beautiful. Put a fork in this. It's done. There's something really odd about this grave. I should check it out later. Link Ark. Smothered to death with a smile on his face. I'm pretty sure I witnessed this happen over at the end during happy hour. I really need to find a spell to erase memories. Wait, what did he do? Smothered to death with a smile on his face. Ah! And there's a picture of Titty Croissants on the grave. There we go. Yep. Blued. Yeah, that's kind of... That's what I was... Yep, that's where I was going with it. Awesome. Alright. Somber with us. Found peace at the bottom of a bottle. No thanks, I don't like pickled zombies. I mean, I'll take a pickled zombie. Damien Floyd gave until it hurt. The hurt was fatal. Huh. I heard he made this hawk guy a real bottom. Ah! Oh, ah, oh, yes. Ah, oh, yes. Ah, oh, yes. Ah, oh, yes. I'm pretty sure Damien is secretly a millionaire in disguise, and he just gives a shit ton of money to people for, for, for really no reason, just because he can... Um, because he has so much money. That's what- that's my- that's my fan theory, my Damien Floyd fan theory. Uh, I'm calling it now. The name is worn down and difficult to read. Vid Zard tried to predict the future, didn't see it coming. Wow, this one's so old that it would be a miracle if I found a spell compatible with them. Reserved for Serbetta, at least she isn't bothering us anymore. <laughs> I'd like to- like I'd be caught dead here. It's, I mean, it's reserved for you, Serbetta. They went to the the, diff, the, the, the trouble of, of reserving it for you. At least you can do is, you know, accept that. Abby Pixie had her bell tinked. Oh. Wasn't she the owner of that Jewel Mountain Inn that was shut down for the public orgies? Ah. Ah. Ah, yes, this is a children's game. Lady Hawk wolfed down one evening. There's a bird joke in here somewhere. Yes, there's always a bird joke. Jay Dueler, his neck was snapped when he wasn't looking. I wonder if this is that murder those shady guys tried to cover up. Probably. Okay, this shows some promise. Old, but not dust to dust old. Let's see. 
It's been a while since I've done this, so here's hoping I've still got what it takes. Klatu! Barada! Nur! I should be a voice actor. Did did it work? You know, you should be like Raven from the Team Titans, where she just says Azrath Metrion Zenthos for every single one of her spells, and it just does whatever the fuck the screenwriters want it to do. You should do that in this game. What the fuck is going on? Appropriate reaction. Easy there. You've been dead for a few decades. I brought you back. Undead? Technically undead, but who's keeping track? Is he gonna have a mental breakdown and disintegrate? How do you feel? Do your limbs work? What's the square root of 64? Uh, um... Two. Did you do this to me? What sort of evil plot have I been resurrected for? Well, not really an evil plot, per se. I need an employee for my shop. You brought me back from the dead to work in your store. It's not a big deal, trust me. You do a few weeks worth of labor for me, and I'll return you to your grave. I don't have a choice in the matter, do I? Nope. One of the many benefits of being a necromancer like myself. So what now, oh master? Ugh. I'm sorry, this game is so beautiful, it's making me tear up a little bit. <laughs> it's glorious. If I wanted any sarcastic lip from you, I'd cut them off. It's not as bad as you think. You'll be manning the counter while I head out into the world to search for treasures. And you promise to put me back after you're done? Being alive again hurts. Like an itch on the back of my head that I can't scratch. Haha! <laughs> Typo! Bad game! Worst game I've ever played! You Like, like an itch in the back of my head? How can an itch be inside of your head? Oh, Hawk, you're an idiot. Oh, stupid little zombie man. Oh, I have destroyed your entire game with my superior brain power. <laughs> hmm, that'd be the brain lust. Just don't need any customers and we should be good. Head back to shopping. My shop is one right next to the inn. Trust me, dude. Uh, being alive, uh, it sucks. Yeah, it's rough. Why don't we go together? Let's just say that the last time I entered the graveyard alone and left with a new friend, it didn't end well. If I end up back in the grave in any other way aside from you putting me back yourself, I'm coming back as a poltergeist, possessing a brick, and bashing your head in. Oh, quit your whining. I have everything under control. See you back in town. He's gonna kill people. I mean, what's the worst that could go wrong? Something immediately goes wrong? Nope. Okay, I guess not. Or Gaia Halkyon, claimed to be hung like a horse, was just hung. I have this overwhelming urge to be prodigious in everything I do. Me every day? Slotty, slaughtered after- wait, slaughtered after eyeing the farmer's daughter. Ooh, Slotty, what you been doing? I remember this. I wonder if he was one-eyeing that farmer's daughter. Oh my gosh, uh, 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 dang it. I was trying to think of a reference. What's the- the one where the, the it's just a guy running around, throwing, walking around, throwing one-liners at people, shooting things. God, I can't. The one that was stuck in like production hell for like ten years. Ah, I gotta get my references under check. My pop culture references are a bit not amazing. Hey yo, Shibe rude was rude to her friends and died at the end of a thick spear. Yeah, I'm sure it was a thick spear. I'm right. Wasn't she married to a guy named Leon? Yeah, he was the one with the thick spear. Teal Chattington, the baker got baked. She made the best cookies. I don't want to live on this planet anymore. Yeah, I don't think I've ever gotten a teal cookie. I'm pretty sure uh, Mr. Mr. Impaled by a Thick Spear, or Ma'am Impaled, Impaled by a Thick Spear, uh, gets all the cookies. Steel Chattington, died as he lived, directing others. Beautiful. No, this one's too fresh. Someone's bound to recognize them. What? Who is this Steel guy? I've never heard of him in my life. Not a statue, not a grave, but a statue commemorating the fact people really love dragons around here. That is foreshadowing for something. Also, is this here because Steel left YouTube? I feel like it is. Rise from your grave and rescue my daughter. Yeah, didn't think that would work. There's actually a cookie on this grave. Seems legit. You found a special cookie. Okay, if I just go back through all of these and spam through the, uh, the dialogue, will I get something? I remember this. I wonder if he was one. I nope, that one's the same. Come on, come on, give me something, give me something. This reminds me, I need to see a guy about a horse. Yo, if we get a horse, we can do it for free. It says here the name is Porker. That's interesting. Peter Porker? From the... 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 Spider-Man? Yeah, I know what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm just gonna give up because nothing's happening yet. Alright. We should probably save the game. 
Alright. Back to town. Um, which one's my shop? This one's my shop, right? Screw Tim. You can't... Oh, no, that's Tim. Yeah, Tim's a loser. He he must from, be from... Uh, he's a... Um, he must be... Uh, 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 from loser town, because he's a loser. I've mentally destroyed him. He can't even handle that. Alright, I'm here. Do I just stand here, or what? Wait, what do I even call you? I'm Porker. I know, I read your tombstone. I'm Sorbetta. Alright, Sorbetta. What exactly do you want me to do, then? It's simple. Sell shit for me while I go out and grab more shit to sell. I seriously can't believe that you brought me back from the dead as your undead thrall for free retail labor. That's basically hell. For That's ba literally hell. It, it, this, this man. This is hell. This is his hell. Would you rather I use you to kill the town? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh, he's lame. I didn't think so. I'm a far more practical necromancer anyway. Not that the thought doesn't cross my mind living around these dolts. When I pay back cousin back, uh, you'll be uh, back to being dead. Sound good? Fine. Not like I was given much choice in the matter. Congratulations on raising your first zomber employee. You can now make money from selling items to Porker. Go out in the world, fight monsters, and bring their bloody but valuable insides back to him. This might actually work. I should go ask Keanu where the treasures are now. Eh, Keanu? Yeah. Keanu Keys? Keanu Keys? Ah, uh, ah! Uh. Well, how did your employee search go? Wait, I got... Did I do the voices again? Perfect! I've got a guy named Porker upstairs, manning the shop as we speak. Which is why I came down here. I need you to refresh my memory on where those treasures are. And you promise to move me upstairs after this is all said and done? Cross my heart, hope to die, stick a needle in my eye. Gross. It's probably best to give you the, uh, the, to, uh, uh, fuck. It's probably best to give these to you in stages. I have no idea how combat ready you are. I'll be fine, I have my chainsaw. Sure, but if you die, I doubt the zombie is gonna stick around long enough to move me. Nope, we do this my way. As long as you point me to all four, I'm okay with that. Alright, first one is going to be in the forest. Ever heard of a money tree? Yeah. Yes, money tree, I'm excited. If these are all going to be bullshit treasures, then your wooden butt stand right here in the basement bar. I'm being serious. What I've heard is there's a special clearing in the forest where the last of the tree's seeds are located. I'd say check that place out first. Alright, fair enough. I'll be back soon for the next location. Get ready for combat. Uh, just do shit. It's all gear-based progression. That's kind of cool. Alright. Uh, can't interact with the cat. That's very sad. Hey, Wait. What is it? I was about to go get something from the forest. You should take some desert pretzels with you. They taste amazing, and they have some light restorative properties. You never know when you might need it. Great idea. I'll take as many as you have. Isn't this your shop? Sure, 50 gold each. What? You're charging me for them? I really don't care that much about what happens to you. But if you're dead, then I won't be, then I won't be back to being dead myself. Plus, if I just gave them to you, there goes all your profits that you're trying to earn, right? At 50 gold, it's just buying them at cost. I don't want to be here any longer than I have to be. Fine, I suppose that makes sense. It really doesn't. Yo, I already have 9k? Oh, wait, yeah, because I gave the 1k to the guy in the bar. Well, shit. If I didn't talk to him ever, would I have uh, had 10,000? Fair enough. Let's just spend, uh... Can I spend all my money? Oh, I can only buy 99. Uh... All right, let's uh, let's save the game, and then I'm gonna just buy all the pretzels. How many saves do I have? Twenty. Okay, we'll go there. All right, let's buy all ninety-nine pretzels. All right. All right. Uh, thank you for the pretzels, good sir. I'll just uh, sell those back at uh, twice the uh, the cost, and then the profit. Within the center of the forest, Sorbetta found a small clearing. It was identical to how Keanu described it. The treasure should be close. Damn it, there's random encounters. It's okay, I have my pretzels. You can't defeat me. Small bomb. Get him with the bomb. Sorbetta, you suck. You didn't even get him with the bomb. Swam attack. Good shit. You didn't even kill him. Ah, Sorbetta, you're useless. Alright, so better. We're bombing him again. Watch out, Pearl Harbor! Alright. What the heck? I got 400 gold for doing it? And I got more pretzels. Do those pretzels just go into purgatory? Yeah, they do. That's rough. 
I'm, I'm, uh, yeah, I wish there was more of a, uh, more of a limit than that, uh, you know, more than 99. I wish I could just buy, you know, an infinite number of pretzels, but really, whatever. No sign of money tree seeds here. Where could they be? Nope, not there. Not, th oh, after searching around aimlessly, the ground begins to quake, and a familiar presence makes itself known to Sorbetta. Ah, yes. I should have known it was you. Uh, rip. All right. I guess uh, guard. We have enough uh, pretzels to guard. It's it's not really a. Yeah. Don't, we don't really need to. Don't really worry about it, Sorbetta. Did that do anything? Uh, that was kind of not really worth it. At least I have my special again. I don't even have to guard that time. V four. Sorpeta. Yeah, that's a good show. All right. Uh, I don't really want to, you know, you know, just, 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 just kill him. Why did I even? Why do I even bother doing anything besides my normal attack if this just insta kills him? Sorpeta was victorious. Five hundred gold and murder gloves. Yo, this is a good day. We got murder gloves. Oh my gosh. Wow. Can I equip my murder gloves? Where are my murder gloves? No! No! What? A perfect for crimes, also possible evidence, okay. Uh, full recovery and permanently increases attack. Alright. I'm glad I brought all these pretzels, they're gonna come in handy. Oh hey, Forest Guardian. I was wondering if you've seen any money tree seeds. You have defiled these lands for the last time, Sorbetta! Whoa, hold on a second, I haven't done anything to the woods. This month. Seriously, the last time you were here, you raised an army of squirrels from the dead. They killed poor Diego. Want me to bring him back? Enough! The forest demands retribution. Uh, you can't kill me, I have pretzels. Holy shit, you just grew a crotch face and a dozen ass arms. <laughs> you, you haven't actually seen my true form, have you? No! What did you expect anyway? I'm the guardian god of the forest. Not this! Look, how about we just call it even, and I'll just see myself out of your forest. Foolish mortal, the time for mercy has passed. Wow, and I thought Sherbetta was a bitch. It's okay. It's okay. Um, I have pretzels. Also, that does a couple damages. Actually, I'm pretty sure this is actually stronger. Yeah, that's a little bit stronger, okay. Yeah, this is this should be a really easy fight. I've got so many pretzels, it doesn't even matter. I'm basically invincible. Yep, there we go. Oh, he, he got me with the death branch. Oh god, I gotta get my uh, my pretzel. Mm, yummy. What? Oh, I thought he hit himself. I I thought the. The guardian hit themselves. I was I was very confused to say the least. No, not the death branch. No. Oh god, the death branch. Oh, it's too powerful. Oh, good thing he, he uses his attack uh, consistently the same way. He he death branches and then he wind and then he death branch and then he win. Oh, easy win. I'm sorry, you just weren't strong enough for Serbetta. I have too many pretzels for you. Well, that was dramatic. Dino Tooth, Dead Plant, found regular armor. All right, good shit. You beat me. How is that possible? Well, honey, with the power of pretzels, anything is possible. I basically got a whole bag of pretzels. Oh uh, well, more than one bag, cause half the bag is air. So if we take half, okay, let's say half of a bag of pretzels is about two pretzels. If we're basing it in the currency of this world's pretzels, which I'm going to assume it's like four pretzels per bag because these are some big-ass pretzels. Oh, wait, no, these are full-size pretzels. These aren't even like the many, like, like the cracker pretzels. These are like full-ass pretzels. So I can't even base it on bag terms. 50, if it costs 50 gold for a pretzel, how much does it cost for a house? What did the, what did Sherbetta give me that I spent 100,000? No, but it was originally 10,000. So I got 10,000, and it costs 50 per pretzel. This is important. Uh, this is, uh, shit. One second. 
This is important. I have to get the calculator. Okay. All right. I'm back. I'm back with the calculator. All right. So, um, we say we have we bought 99 pretzels for 50 gold each. So we do 99 times 50. So that's 4,950. So she Sherbetta lent me enough money to buy 200 pretzels. And 200 pretzels um, in US or American dollars. A dollar, let's just go with like a dollar 50, uh, is what I'm seeing as like the consensus. So in American dollars, that's a dollar 50, which is uh, 150 cents. Yep, so we do 150 times 99. Okay, and then we multiply that by two. So we had about 30,000 US dollars. And in this world, 30,000. So in this world, um, 10,000 gold is equivalent to 30,000 US dollars. Okay, cool. I have done it. I have figured you out, Hawk. I, I know all of your secrets now. Unless I did my math entirely wrong, which is possible because I suck at math. I'm terrible. Two words. Chain saw. I am shamed. And by you, of all people, just do whatever you want from the forest and go. Money tree seeds. Do you know where they are? The money tree? Sure. Why don't you go ask Diego, bitch? He tended to it. Well, that was a fun interaction. I think Diego's body's still around here somewhere. Maybe it's that one. Speed run, speed run, speed run. Look at that. You recall where you recognize the elf from. It's Diego. Oops. You notice something in his ribcage. Well, I'll be damned. Diego was good for something after all. Yeah, get the money tree seeds, baby! Damn it. Alright. It's okay? Everyone stay calm. I am a professional murderer. Alright, let me just use the special double slash move. The V for Sorbetta. Nope, that didn't kill him. Damn it, Sorbetta, you're lacking here. Sorbetta, we can't lose this one. I'll have to redo this entire segment. <coughs> Sorbetta, I can't do that. I don't have the emotional capacity. Okay, we ate, we ate the thing. And smack him. Smack him in the face. No, Sorbetta, that wasn't the amount of smacking I needed you to do. Sorbetta, you're lacking on the smacking. Nope, Sorbetta. You didn't, you didn't kill... I told you, I said kill him. And you didn't kill him. This is a margarita bandit. Where's the vodka bandit? Come on, we're missing out. I mean, you know, I need a vodka bandit. Uh, let's let's eat my uh, let's eat my pretzels. Nom 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 nom. Uh, how much money do we have? Five thousand four hundred fifty. Well, we've almost made back the money. Yeah, it's pretty close. All right. Um, got the money tree seeds. Back to back to piano man. As Billy Joel would say. Why the fuck didn't you tell me I was alone in here? Uh, did you not tell me I wasn't alone in here? I don't- I'm really bad at reading. I take it you've met Keanu. You named the Mimic. Of course you did. Why do you have a goddamn Mimic in the basement? Honestly, he came with the place. Why? Uh, what nonsense has he been spouting? I got bored and there were no customers, so I checked out the basement. I saw the piano, and since I love- I love to play uh, in life so much, I decided to try it again. That's when it showed its true form. I refuse to go down there again. Ever. What? Really? I mean, sure, he's a jerk for scaring you, but that's no reason to overreact. I was killed by a mimic! Oh, well, shit. I'll go have a chat with him. I'm sure it'll all be fine. Fuck that, I may be forced to work in your zombie slave shop, your zombie sweatshop for the next few weeks, but I'm not going to go anywhere close to that mimic. Slave, no, no, my dear Peter Porker. You're a prisoner with a job. Uh, there goes my idea of starting up the bar again. At this rate, I'll never make the gold to pay back for better. Yeah, and with that investment and all those uh, and all those pretzels, gosh, we're really losing money fast. Uh, I can't can't believe you did that, uh, Sorbetta. You're an idiot. I was planning on having him run the bar eventually. I better go talk to Keanu. Maybe he'll have an idea. Or you could just resurrect another guy. Yeah, you could go resurrect uh, the RPG Time channel. You know, it's kind of dead. So, Porker's terrified of you. Hey, some stranger comes into my bar and starts rubbing their grimy undead fingers all over my beautiful ivories. I take offense. No, not... No, okay. 
No, not just you scaring him. Apparently a mimic killed him, so he refuses to work down here in the bar. Which has stage two of my plan to pay Shibeta back. Which was stage two of my plan. Just raise another zombie. I was honestly not going to raise the second one. I got lucky so far that no one has recognized him yet. But a second? Risky. Still, we may have no other choice. Why don't you help me find the next treasure in the meantime? Wait, you actually managed to find the seeds? Uh, it went off without a hitch. Mostly. I think Forest Guardian's upset, though. You you killed him. Or did he just run away? Well, that's your fault for the whole squirrel thing. Anyway, next treasure is to find a legendary dragon egg. How is that a treasure? Dragons aren't exactly rare. Well, this one is. Trust me. Head into the mountains and conquer the labyrinth. If what I heard is correct, the egg will be the prize at the end. Rare, huh? Just how rare are we talking? If it's what I think it is, probably better you see for yourself. Now go on, the longer you take, the longer I'm trapped down here. Yes, Keanu. Anything for you, my love. Alright. Alright, gotta go find a dragon. I don't know where the dragon is, but uh, we shall adventure. Let's go to the... Um, I better not. Meeting's over and during services they frown on pouring the communion wine into my own tanker. But how else am I supposed to drink it? I think we need an Alcoholics Anonymous here too. Uh, it seems like a bit of an issue. Alright, uh, where- if I was a dragon, where would I be? Here? Because I guess not. Can I go here? Huh. It's only a model. Wow. Alright. Thanks, Hawk. Really? Really? AI pathfinding. That is the way that you thought you could get to the house. Oh my god. Alright, okay. Okay. This looks like an, this looks like an interesting place. However, I have no reason to be here right now. God damn it! Why did I just want me to walk all the way down here? And I can't even do anything. All right. I guess my last choice it is then. No way am in hell am I stepping foot in there until I have to. All right. My next last choice. This is the Dragon Temple. I had no reason to be here at the casino. I let it all ride on black, and Sweet Lady Luck bent me over that table and made me bite the pillow. Alright, interesting. Alright, so where the fuck is the dragon? Is he in the forest too? God damn it, I didn't want to be here. Is the dragon in here? Is this the dragon? Yo, yeah, dragon. Yeah, I know people love dragons. Where's the dragon? Oh, let's go to the dragon. Let me maybe talk to the- maybe, maybe, maybe Mimic will tell me. I'm using the mouse from now on. Uh, or at least for now, because I'm a lazy bastard. Alright, Mr. Dra uh, Mr. Mimic. You heading to the mountains yet? Because once you get back, I have an idea for the bar. Alright, mountains. Thank you for your help. I tried walking into the mountains, that was my first choice, and it didn't work. So, you know. Great. After wandering through the mountains for hours, Sorbetta found herself stuck in what appeared to be a man-made structure. Is this... Oh, fuck me it is. It's a goddamn maze. Do you wish to traverse the maze? Choose wisely. Well, I guess I don't get to choose. Someone has to teach people a lesson. A maze isn't a temple, or a ruin, or a stupid goddamn fun time. It's a maze, I'm not a fucking rat. Now, what do, I have, what do I have that can help me rid the world of this ungodly structure? Now it's uh, got to be in here somewhere. Aha! Although doing this might make me the bad guy, what would Shrebetta do? Crush your enemies! See them driven before you and hear the lamentation of their women! That's good enough for me! Fire in the hole! Thank you, Hawk. Uh, uh, I went a teeny bit overboard with that spell. Oh, well, not like I'll ever need to come back here, I hope. Am I just fucked now? Did I just never do anything again? Oh, I just gotta go tell the, the guy that I nuked the whole place, I guess. Alright. Mr. Piano Man, I, uh, Mr. Keanu, I might have nuked the entire place. Okay, so, small problem. Define small problem. I didn't get the treasure. Also, I blew up the maze. You... What? Hey, don't yell at me. You knew how much I hate mazes. Yes, but I didn't think you would go so far as to blow it up. What's done and it's done. Anyways, where do I need to go for the next treasure? Right back into the mountains. It's a dragon egg and hopefully sturdy enough to survive whatever the hell you did. Do I have to... No, not at all. I mean, Trebetta will only break one limb. Then, right... Sure, it's totally fine. Point taken. Fine, I'll head back to the blast site and see if anything survived. You better hope something did. I don't have a backup plan, Sorbetta. I'm sorry, Keanu, I've let you down, senpai. I'll make it up to you somehow. Uh, 
All right, looks like most of the mountain range is intact. Now, if I were a were dragon rag, where would I be? I would like to go into my menu and equip uh, equipment things. What the hell is going on here? Are you sure there's treasure in here? It looks kind of sketchy. Don't be rude. Of course there's treasure in here. Just look at this golden box. I bet it's something wonderful and stupendous. Like, like, like a giant medallion. Or a puppy. Why would a puppy be in a treasure chest? Because puppies are a treasure. They kind of are, you know? Ow. Oh. Um, excuse me, what are you three doing? Who the hell are you? This is the perfect time to use our new intro. Team Rocket's blasting off again. Wait, no, that's at the end. Oh, I'm sorry. You can't be serious. As a heart attack! We've been practicing. Fine, but I'm not doing it again if you two screw up. You better get ready for some fights! Cross us and we'll knock out your lights! We travel the world in search of treasure and take it into our possession by any measure. You look confused and that's quite rude, but we're in control now. Lose that, dude. Somber. Meloni Moki Mo what? Meloni Mocha Luna Prism. Really? We talked about this. Pick one. Moki Mochi. Chibi. Moving faster than the speed of sound. No valuable is safe when we're around. Best recognize, homie. You ad-libbed. Rude. Oh, don't be so hard on him. I thought it was cute. I... Uh, uh, what? Do I need to do something now? Or... Just give us all your stuff. Bastards didn't even let me equip my items. That's... Assholes. Alright. Well, it's okay, because I got bombs. Ouch. Unflattering art. I look nothing like this. Darkness. Oh, okay. Well, I might die. There's a, a good possibility that uh, I will die. All right, let's just eat the cookie. Ah, oh, shit. Well, that's that. Oh, he healed himself. Oh, thank you. You're so kind. Now I'm not dying. Uh, I should probably eat my pretzels. Actually, I'm gonna die, aren't I? I'm f I'm just screwed. Oh, please don't attack me. Oh, no. Oh, rip. Alright. Well, hey, at least I got to see the art for the game over screen. That's fucking awesome. Looks good. I don't remember if I saved. When was this? Uh, I'm not good at walking. Walking is hard. Oh god, I gotta walk back, explode the mountains, and uh, okay. We are back. Uh, all right. So strategy for this time. Uh, bomb. Hey, I killed one that time. Awesome. All right. How about I just neglect healing and just bomb them again? Yeah, this time it's working a little bit better. Ah, you can't kill me. I am Team Rocket. I mean, you're Team Rocket. Easy win. Easy. GG, easy. Loot bikini top found. Shield found. All sales final found. Pointy hat found. Thank God I found the loot bikini. That's important. The gods who walk found. Hawk ring found. Twitch ring found. The dark soul found. Did I just steal other shit? Everything hurts. Good. You attacked and tried to rob me for no reason. It was her idea, honest. I'm just an innocent bystander. What? After all I've done for you. Ow, I didn't mean it, honest. Don't be so mean, Chibi. We just got our asses beat. Rude, I'll show you a beating. 
I'm not getting in the middle of that. Better just grab the treasure and run while they're distracted. What if I stand right here? Ah, it didn't break the game. Wonderful thinking. Yep, just regular dragon egg. I can feel something moving around inside, though. I wonder what'll happen if I look more closely. Does that mean I should look more closely? Alright, I'm gonna look more closely. Where's the dragon egg? It's important. Dragon egg, okay. Give the egg a good old tap on the side. What do you call a large pile of cats? A meowton. Ah, oh, wow. Even though that was a groaner, you have a gut feeling you should continue. All right, all right. If the game tells me to, I shall, com uh, you know, I shall oblige. So I got my new shoes from a drug dealer. I don't know what he laced them with, but I've been tripping all day. You feel I should continue? All right. Well, if you say so, I shall continue. You give the egg a good tap on the side. Do I make a lot of courthouse puns? Guilty. It says I should continue. I'm just gonna keep doing this. Did you know 6.30 is the best time? Hands down! Amazing! Wow, this egg really knows uh, his jokes. It's really funny. Did you hear about the new restaurant on the moon? It's got great food, but no atmosphere. <laughs> wow, these are really top tier. So what's the difference between a lizard and a dragon? The lizards are too young to smoke! <laughs> Give the egg a good tap on the sap. Did you hear the Scarecrew won an award? It was an out it was outstanding in its field. It says I should continue. I'm assuming I'll get like a special prize at the end of this. Why did the chicken cross the playground? To get to the other slide. Ah 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 Yo, you guys wanna get on, on this? You wanna you wanna get on, on this? Oh shit. Ah oh, the spiders! The spiders came out of the woman. I'm sorry, I wasn't expecting that one. Alright, back to the pun egg. What do you call an overweight psychic? A fortune teller! Oh, this is what we play games for. Why did the Clydesdale give the pony a drink of water? Because he was a little horse. <laughs> You've been a great audience. I'll let you in on a little secret. My parents hid some really awesome armor in the mountains. You should be able to find it now. Oh shit, it really was worth it after all. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Oh, it was worth it. Dragon hide was found. Well, this wasn't hiding very well. You also find the recipe for grasshoppers. New armor and a booze recipe. Best day ever. I would agree that would be the best day ever. Sadly, that never happens to me. Why do you get all the cool shit? Whatever. Uh, I, I want to go into the shack now. There's so many things I want to do. So many things. It's, oh, th oh, this game. Oh, it's so good. I love it. Oh. This is fun. This is really good. This is good shit, Hawk. Did you find the egg in the mountains yet? You never said it was a pun dragon. Hey, it's rare, isn't it? I'd keep talking to it if I were you. I already did that. Let's just get on with this. These treasures are giving me a headache. And what did you want to do with the bar? You need to raise another zombie and get this bar up and running. Uh, running. How did you fix it? What? What? It was completely destroyed. I don't understand. Are we selling this shit immediately and it's being paid for? And, you know, whatever. Um, that's been the plan all along. I was hoping to get away with only one undead minion, but I guess it can't be helped. What about the third treasure? Isn't this the fourth, technically, because you incinerated the other one? First the bartender, then the location. Why are you making me wait? You don't even drink. No, I don't. Not yet. But patrons do. Uh, fair enough, right? I'm honestly lonely. Seeing Forest, Forest Guardian just force his way down here and make himself something to drink made me realize how much I miss this place actually being open and running. That's actually kind of sweet. Fine, fine. I'll go get a bartender. Oh, Keanu loves me! Excellent. Make sure she's cute. There isn't even a guarantee she'll still have a face. Nope, that's okay. I'm more of an ass mimic. Ah! Ah! Get it? Because ass uh, has a butt. Ah! <coughs> this game is killing me. <coughs> That's my soul leaving my body. <coughs> That's just my organs leaving my body. Pick a forest, father said. Protect it, father said. Instead, I picked the only wooded area. And some psycho necromancer bitch uses as her playground to raise dead things. Should have been a good, should have been a gotta win like mother. Hey, in my defense, 
Diego probably definitely deserved death by undead squirrels. Actually, I might accidentally, accidentally, I might add. Seriously, he used to read to the elderly and feed orphans. Uh, but you have to admit he still got on your nerves. Plus, he was like 700. Even elves shouldn't live that long. I keep clicking buttons. He did get on my nerves at times. Forest Guardian, make it rain. Or Forest Guardian, I found this dead bird. Please save it. Or Forest Guardian, what are you doing with that tree? <gasps> Forest Guardian. You can't be fornicating with other trees like that. And this is where I back away slowly. And then just run. And then you run. Actually, let's steal their papers. It's probably deeds to their house. Oh, just a classified section. Wanted somebody to go back in time with me. This is not a joke. You'll get paid when we go back. When we get back. Not, not falling for that one again. Again? Oh, what happened the first time, Serbetta? One of these days, someone is going to fall in this hole and get seriously hurt. It's gonna be hilarious. Until it's me. And then it's not gonna be hilarious, because I'm gonna be dead. Alright. Here's what I want to do. I want to try to go into the shack. Back here. I'm gonna save before doing it. And then if I get my ass beat, I will uh, just reload and pretend it never happened. I've got a really bad feeling about this. If I go in here now, I don't think I'll come out ahead. Maybe I should come back when I'm a bit stronger. Uh, so I'm not strong enough yet? Eh, whatever. Let's do it. To enter, only one may leave. Oh, yeah. Can you match up against the power of the unstoppable Brutus the Ludus? Well, this was a mistake. Ah, come on. Play along. Or would you rather keep shopkeeping, you coward? Ah. Keep shopkeeping, ah, like the game, ah, like the one I ref said was the was the inspiration, ah, you know what I'm saying? Okay, that's it. This gladiator is done. Oh, we're in hell. Why do I have so much health? Ah, whatever, it's fine. Oh, I can win. Oh, I can't win. I can't win. It's okay, I have still a special cookie. I mean, Teal special cookie. Oh, wait, he did a thing that he wasn't allowed to do. It's okay. I have my double slash. Ah, I bet you weren't expecting that one. I hit you with the 1,000 damage. Okay, I got this. Easy wins. Easy wins right here. Just beat the shit out of Brutus. Yes, there we go. There we go. Okay, uh, not going so well anymore. Uh, does the Punch Dragon Egg do anything? I don't think so. Let's eat some pretzels. Ah, pretzel, yum. Ah, shit. All right. So, Betty, you gotta step up the game. You gotta do some more 1000s. I'm gonna need you to pull your weight. That's not pulling your weight. So, Betty, that's not. Oh, shit. So, Betty, what are you doing? Okay, okay. This is falling downhill. So, Betty, I need you to uh, do some more damage, please. I mean, I think we can maybe win this one. I, have, I think we can do it. I think we can hang in there and beat him. Even though the game was like, oh, no, you can't beat us. We are better than you. But actually, I'm better than the game because I thought ahead and bought a shit ton of pretzels. So, I'm the real genius here. Now he's just guarding. All right. The well, and well, now I can't do that. All right. I win. I've done it. I've done it. The strategy is to just spend your entire fortune on pretzels. It's. It, I'm a genius. The battle master recipe was found. You fight well for an old man. I'm not old. I'm fucking eighteen. All right. Did I win? The fight has been decided, and I have many confusing emotions. Best leave now. This guy is nuts, but I have a strong feeling I need to come back here very soon. Alright, what if I save and just keep talking to him? Oh god, what's that smell? If I, okay, alright. Alright, fine, we'll come back. Alright, alright, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh. Wait, where did they say I need to go? Oh yeah, go back to the graveyard. Alright. Who to uh, raise from the dead? Uh, I'm assuming it's the other one with the broken crack. Okay, the name on the gravestone is Hurricane? What the hell kind of name is that? Whatever. Here's hoping it's a woman. Time for the magic words again. Glatu! Barada! Nani? Oh no. Uh, hello? Shit, did it not work right? Better poker to be sure. Uh, just... Just five more minutes. Great, I raised a lazy one. 
Oh, my head's killing me. Wait, why am I on the ground? Not again. What year is it? Easy there. You've been dead for a number of years. I just brought you back. Oh my god, I hit the same button again. I'm an idiot. Yeah, I got that. Please tell me I'm not your first. I can only handle so much after getting revived yet again. Wait, you've been revived before? And of course you aren't my first on dead. What kind of amateur do you take me for? An incompetent one for starters. Who the hell revives zombies in the actual graveyard they find them in? The very least you could have done is made me a ritual circle. Okay, back in the hole you go. Wait, let's not be that hasty. Why ever brought me back? Has Draknor the Indomitable returned? Draknor the what? No, I don't even know who that is. I brought you back because I need a bartender. How's your gin and tonic? You brought me, Hurricane. Hero of the Five Worlds. Savior of the Crystal Chamber. Back to life. To be your bartender. Uh, curious. Just what exactly killed you? Head trauma. Why can't I ever catch a break? Wait. What were we talking about again? Ah, oh, shit. Uh, just about how you're an amazing bartender, and how you're late for your shift over at the Dusty Femur. That's a shitty name. Nice try, asshole. If you think for one minute I'm going to serve bottom shelf hobo juice, you've got an ass kicking incoming. Now, now, let's not do anything rash. Wait a fucking minute, I revived you. You should obey me. Shit, maybe you aren't as incompetent as I thought. I'll be your bartender on one condition. Depends, what condition? Will you be my new mommy? No, wait, that's not right. abso fucking loot not. Ugh! Stop messing with my head, necromancer! Okay, it's obvious that you've got some issues. Let's head back to my bar and we can figure this all out, okay? Fine, this is fine. Honestly, it could be worse. I just need to get her into the bar and hope that she doesn't lose it on a customer before I can pay her butter back. Alright. Alright, yeah, these are going great. We've got a dude who hates mimics. We've got someone with head trauma. We killed some people in the forest, got a forest guardian working in our bar. Yeah, this is shaping up to be a pretty epic story adventure. Alright, let's save, just in case we uh, get stabbed in the neck, I just feel like it's coming. Can I buy it? Uh, 900 more desert pretzels. Oh, I, what? Oh, are you serious? You don't even have 999 back? Oh, God. Oh, I can only hold them. All right. I can't even hold that many. All right. Fine. I'll leave it for now. Keep your keep your pretzels. Yes. Oh, it's looking beautiful. All right. I managed to find a suitable. She's adorable. Can we keep her? I don't think she'll last a few days, let alone indefinitely. She died of head trauma, and I think she's running a few gerbils short of a petting zoo. Where the fuck is the blue milk? Yeah, see what I mean? So she's a little rough around the edges. She's certainly no worse than the other guy you brought back. Sort of the gods above, I can hear him weeping up there. <laughs> so this has not been my finest hour. I get it. I'm more of a hobbyist necromancer anyway. Still, I've got the bartender and the shopkeeper, which frees me up to go look for those final two treasures. You want to leave again so soon? You don't even know how to run this side of things. Yo, Shree dude, want to bang? Um, excuse me? Stop propositioning the customers! Well, let's not be too hasty. This isn't that kind of bar, got it? I never get to have any fun. Just go back to the trees, you bastard. Actually, if I really wanted to make some quick cash, if you really wanted to make some quick cash, one more word and I'm donating you to a music school for ogres. Point taken. At any rate, as long as the customers don't mind and she stays behind the bar, it shouldn't be a big issue. If you want to really start making some cash with the bar here, you're going to need drinks. Well, I already got a few recipes. Don't worry about it. There's plenty of liquor on the shelves. Oh, I made to clarify. You need a bartender who can mix drinks. Right now, all she can do is pour the stuff straight. Want me to make some real dough? Go find drink recipes. The more you teach her, the more money you'll make. It's actually really smart. Thanks, Keanu. Any ideas where I can find some? If you haven't found a few already, go out and kill some stuff. It's well known fact that monsters not only carry gold, but recipes for various cocktails on their persons at all times. I mean, it's just common knowledge. It's just obvious. That's just what monsters do. They just are alcoholics. All monsters are alcoholics. It's just clear. I had no fucking clue. I pulled that out of my ass, but it sounds good. You know what? I really don't care if it's true or not. I'm sure I'll find some somewhere, but right now I'm itching to find that treasure. Is that all I am to you? A glorified treasure map? Of course not. You're a talking glorified treasure map. 
You know what? Fuck you, Sorbetta. You come in here and buy the place after my former owner dies, but you've done nothing with it. Then, only when your neck is on the line, you want to act like you actually care? No, I'm not telling you anything more. Not until you act like you honestly care about what happens to the shop and the bar. Especially the bar. What? Where did that come from? I told you I was going to move upstairs. Moving me upstairs was so that I wouldn't be so lonely. The bar is where I'm happiest, so I want to stay now. If you're truly my friend, then you'll help me first before the treasure hunt. I don't like this ultimatum bullshit he's pulling, but I've been a poor friend. Now I'm surprised he even called me that. I've all but abandoned this place after the gambling. Okay, you're right. Shrebetta can wait. What do you need me to do? Serious? You serious? You actually mean that? Sure. Besides, getting more people in here will help me in the long run. So what needs to happen? Awesome! I knew you weren't a heartless bitch. Hey! Okay, so what you need to do is uh, is find at least three drink recipes. That should be enough to get more people in here. All of company, and you'll like money hand over fist. Win-win. Alright then, guess I'm off to find, my, find ways to mix drinks. This will delay me a fair bit, but it can't be helped. Besides, it's kind of nice seeing Keanu so happy. I know it really is. Warmed my heart. I love Keanu. You're now, you now have a functioning bar. As you find and turn in drink recipes to Hurricane, you'll not only get some more new patrons, but you'll start... Patreons? I wish I had some Patreons. But you'll start earning cash. About every minute, your bar tab should be paid out. Be sure to check often. Also, drink recipes can be just about anywhere. Be sure to check around town, search for enemies, or even loot corpses. And aside from that, from the first three, acquiring all ten is not required for story progression. Well, I already have... I don't know how many I have. My tots are being wasted here. I could be slaying evil. What do you want, anyway? Turn in recipe. Ooh, this one has mint. Okay. I'll make this, because you're going to have to get your own orc eggs. My talents are being wasted here. I could be slaying evil. What do you want, anyway? Uh, I don't have any more. Bars are in 50 gold so far. Cool. Alright. Okay. Um, I mean, this is one of my favorite games ever, but sadly, we've run out of time, so I'm going to have to end the playthrough of Sorbetta Bravely in Debt here, which I apologize for. Um, I might have to make a part two to this, um, because this is one of my favorite things of all time. I, like, literally, I have derived genuine enjoyment from playing this game. Genuinely, I've had a fantastic time playing this. Um, I, I was smiling, I was happy, I was enjoying myself. Um, Hawk Zombie, you've made a fantastic game here. Your writing is phenomenal. Uh, maybe it's just because I like comedy, that's just my thing, but I love this. This is right up my alley, this is a lot of fun for me to play, and I thoroughly enjoyed making this video. Thank you for sending it to me, Hawk Zombie. It's an honor to be able to play it early. Uh, it's an honor to be able to review it and put it on my channel. Um, thank you. Thank you for making this. And thank you for sending it my way. I really enjoyed it. And I hope you did too, my croutons. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.